Border officials overwhelmed by migrants as the future of Title 42 stays unclear. And their struggle is putting all of us, all Americans, at risk. As we learn, a suspected terrorist was released into the U.S. by agents and was not arrested until two weeks later. U.S. congressional GOP candidate out of Texas, Wesley Hunt, is here now to react. Wesley, great to have you on the program. Why wasn't this guy flagged as a suspected terrorist upon initial contact? Why was he given a GPS and said, on your merry way, we hope you come back? Because we have an administration right now that doesn't believe in following laws. We have an open border policy. And for whatever reason, this administration thinks that they have a mandate to behave like a socialist country. And that's actually not what the people wanted. President Biden barely won the presidency. They have a razor thin margin in the House and in the Senate. And they're treating this country as if it's Venezuela, especially with, with what we're seeing with our very porous border. And right now, because of these poor policies, this is the most I've ever paid for gas. A couple of days ago, I had to fill my truck up and it was so emotional that I felt like I had to pour one out for the homies, okay? This is this is the worst inflation we've seen in my entire lifetime. Look at what's happening at the border and to cap it all off, on top of that, there is an obvious assault on our oil and gas industry that impacts me right here in Congressional District 38, right here in Houston, Texas. These poor policies are making us less safe. It's the number one role, the responsibility to preserve our sovereignty and to keep our citizens safe, and that's why we have terrorists coming into this country carte blanche because we have an administration that does not want to adhere to the laws of this country. Yeah, we want to talk to you a little bit more about oil and gas in just a minute, but staying on the immigration topic yeah. for a moment, hundreds yeah. of migrants were released into the U.S. yesterday, the day that <sighs> Title 42 was supposed to end. Governor Greg Abbott was talked um, made a comment about how he his plan is going to continue regarding busing more migrants to Washington, D.C. Take a listen yeah. to what he had to say <laughs> yesterday. We're up to our 45th bus now. When you add a zero to that, I think Washington, D.C. is going to soon find out they're going to be dealing with the same consequences we're dealing with. President Biden has never once even tried to contact me uh, about the border. Uh, the, the, the czar for the border, Kamala Harris, has never once tried to contact me. So there's Governor Abbott saying he's getting no federal help when it comes to securing yeah. the southern border. There are some questions over whether Governor Abbott is doing enough regarding this issue. Some uh, Republicans are urging him to declare an invasion, and then he could use state resources to deport illegal immigrants. Is that something that you would support? Right. You know, you know, potentially, but again, this is actually not Governor Abbott's role, Governor Abbott's role uh, to, to protect the border. And, and right now, if we have a COVID issue, like the left is still trying to propose, and like this administration is still adhering to, then how can you possibly overturn Title 42? This doesn't make sense. It's, it's this constant controversy that we're seeing uh, from the top of this ticket that has this entire country confused. And look, Governor Abbott is doing the best he can to keep us safe. But just like I said, that's not his role. This is the federal government's role to preserve the sovereignty preserve the borders of this nation and we have got to do better meantime wesley you've been spending the last few weeks visiting oil and gas companies across the country to discuss the challenges yeah. these companies and the industry are facing under joe biden yet here's what he said yesterday about quote unquote the transition on gas listen and when it comes to the gas prices uh we're going through an incredible transition that is taking place that God willing when it's over will be stronger and the world will be stronger and less relying on fossil fuels when this is over. Wesley, what was your reaction and your reaction for the average American who's struggling right now to just fill up their tank when Joe Biden says the pain at the pump we're all feeling is an incredible transition? Well, he's got his words wrong. It's not about energy transition. It's about energy addition. I've been traveling all over Texas. I've been in the Permian Basin. I've been in Midland. I visited New Mexico. We're going to go to Pennsylvania. Uh, we're also going to go to the Midwest and look at some biodiesel in Iowa. Look, the bottom line is, is this. It's an all-hands-on-deck approach to fulfill the energy needs of, the, of this country. And what I am seeing from all the brave men and women uh, across this country that provide energy for us every single day, that allow us to put gas in our cars, that allow us to turn our lights on, that allow us to stay cool in this Texas heat that's crazy right now, is because they sacrifice every single day for us to be able to have it. We need more of them. And this administration is trying to kill our industry, but we are not going to allow that to happen. Wesley Hunt joining us on a very busy Tuesday in his state. He won his primary race, but there are other runoff races happening in the great state of Texas right. today. Wesley. So you can sit pretty Thank today. You.
And he is pretty. <laughs> pretty. Wesley, God bless you. <laughs> you Thank heard you it from so Todd. Uh, Fox News.